This is Luke Woodard bringing you this week's 3 Minute Thursday. Today we're going to bring some sanity to creating and editing splines by looking at a model of a bike seat. So you've got the basics of SolidWorks down and are looking to create more exciting models. Well there's nothing more exciting than curves. So you go up to the command manager, grab the icon with the curves on it, and start sketching. All is well until you start editing and this happens. One minute in and you're already ready to give up splines. Let's take a step back. There are two big tricks when creating splines. The first is to take advantage of symmetry. If there is symmetry, it is much easier to draw half of the profile and mirror it than it is to try to match the sides to each other. The second trick is to use as few spline points as possible. You should only place spline points where the curve is going to inflect or change direction. Initially, this won't give you the shape you want, but we can edit it. And when we do go to edit it, it will be much easier to do so. If you really need an additional spline point, you can add them in later. To edit, we can use the spline handles. We can edit the direction, curvature, magnitude, or both at the same time, depending on what we click and drag. The best trick to editing splines that I've found, however, is to use the control polygon. Editing with the control polygon is more predictable and keeps the spline from going flying and intersecting itself like we saw earlier. Got all that and ready to get a bit fancier? In that case, we can work on getting nice, smooth splines. To do so, I'm going to turn on Show Curvature Combs. What these lines are showing me is the radius of curvature at points along the spline. For a smooth end result, we want gradual transitions of the combs. Speaking of smooth end results, let's look at a sketch relation called Equal Curvature. You're probably very used to adding tangent relations. These are good, but leave edges between faces. Instead, we can use the relation Equal Curvature so that the two sketch entities have the same radius of curvature where they meet. This creates what we call curvature continuous geometry, getting rid of hard transition edges. So there you go. We've looked at two tricks when creating splines, another trick when editing, and have even added a few bonus tricks to make things look really good. As for my bike seat, I used a variety of surfacing techniques to model it up, but creating splines was the basis for everything. Hopefully these tips have brought some sanity to splines and you're ready to use them yourself.